Hello, so in this example, let's try to create some rooms. So let's go to uh, Revit project. In here you can see simple wall plan. In here I have some external walls and some internal partition walls which divide my uh, internal area of my uh, project. Uh, so in here I go to architecture tools and for this example I will use some tools from room and area. First let's create rooms so I press rooms and I can just select objects and create rooms just uh, inserting this object in the room and the program will automatically calculate uh, the square meters of my room it will give me the mark of the room and the name of the room and uh, next tool I can use uh, place rooms automatically and it automatically scans all my plan view and automatically inserts rooms so it saves a lot of time and you can do it very easily and quickly other tools which can be used highlight boundaries so you can press this tool so it will highlight all the boundaries of your project and you can use them to create rooms next part I would like to create room uh, from my room number five and I would like to divide this big area to two parts or two rooms uh, but I don't want to put any partition walls in this area. So for this task I just go and uh, select room separator and I just separate my room into two parts. Two parts. And uh, now this room is here and another room is located in, in this position. All the rooms should have a closed loop so the program should create rooms only in closed loop if I put the room object outside uh, of my closed loop so it will give me some errors and from here you can see it draws this uh, box which represents room and gives me no enclosure so you should be careful when you are creating rooms don't create too much rooms of course you can manage them later through the schedules and so on